it's Laura here from East of Eden Plants. Welcome to this Lechuza self-watering planter assembly video. Uh, we do like to use these in our own designs because uh, not only being very stylish, they do allow the plant to take up just the right amount of water they need for optimal growth. Um, and the assembly instructions are quick and simple and they're coming up right now with some potting tips too. Okay, so when you receive your planter, you will find everything you need in the base of the planter. This is the entire contents of the box and I will explain what each component does as we go along. And we have here as well a full set of instructions. Okay, first take the inner liner out of the outer liner, okay? If you are using your planter outside, very important, take the drain plug out of the inner liner and the outer liner. This is so that excess rainwater can drain through. If you are using your planter indoors, keep the plugs in. Okay, next. Place the water supply shaft in the notch there at an angle and pop back. Place the water supply indicator into the water supply shaft and then place the protective plastic press down until it clicks and then finally Put the cap on. The Lechuza planters come with the Lechuza Pond Granulate. It provides the perfect level of moisture for your plant and it will also oxygenate the soil which plants need to grow. Okay, so place the pond layer on first. Okay, make sure you get it in all the holes and just give it a little shuffle just to get it into all of those pots and there we go next um, you need to put a layer of good quality potting compost over the top of the pond granulate layer okay you need to leave enough room for the roots now just so you know how far to fill up this first layer you get your plant line the top of the plant with the top of the planter okay and where the bottom of the pot is just put your finger there where the bottom of the pot is take the plant out and then just go up a bit more because it will settle in and that's how far we're going to fill up our layer of pot the plant in the liner Make sure that the plant has been fully soaked beforehand and fill to the top with compost. Okay, so as you can see, I'm almost there now. Just got a bit more to do. Now, as you go, as you're filling up your liner with compost, press down at each stage. Keep pressing down on the compost because don't want to get air gaps so keep pressing down then adding another layer and then press down again and just keep pressing down as you go. So you want to make sure that your plant is firmly pressed down at the same time this very top layer okay you want that loose you want the top layer just nice and loose there this will just ensure that the water can penetrate Okay, now over the next 12 weeks, water your plant as you usually would. Okay, so put the water at the bottom of the plant so that it can go through its root system. Okay, over the, over the compost. Okay, so the 12 weeks, that is the time that um, the roots need to grow and to reach the water source at the bottom. Okay, so I've been watering this plant now for about 20 minutes. Um, you just want, yeah, you just want to water slowly over a period of about 20 minutes to half an hour. Water 
through the plant so you make sure that it is getting straight to the roots. Um, now what we're aiming for is to get this water level indicator about halfway up, that's what we're aiming for. And over the next 12 weeks, just keep watering your plant in this way. And um, that's the time that the roots need to, to grow and to actually reach the water source at the bottom. Now, out of this 12 week growing phase, fill the reservoir via the water supply shaft. Okay, okay. After the 12 week growing phase, uh, you want to just slide the cap over and you want to fill water to the reservoir via the water supply shaft until this water level indicator is at max. If required, you can add some liquid fertilizer. Okay, when this is at the max, your plant is now supplied with water for up to 12 weeks without the need for further watering. Um, now the pond granulate there that we put in at the start, that will oxygenate the soil, giving it the oxygen that it will need to grow. Okay, thank you for watching. If you did find that helpful and useful, please do give us a thumbs up and leave comments as well. Um, and do hit that subscribe button because we do regularly post um, inspirational plant design ideas as well as the latest trends in the plant world and our own explorations of the natural world as well. And do check out our website www.easterfeedingplants.co.uk to view the full range of the choose of planters. This is Laura from Easter Feeding Plants and Designs, helping you create a greener world. I'll see you in the next video.